What's going on everybody? Rafael Page here, back with another video and in this video we are going to answer the holy question Street Workout versus Gym Street Workout? <laughs> what is this? The circus? Those guys never have chefs Plus, there's always a lot of injuries Nah, not for me Bodybuilding? The real men are found in the street, man. I don't care how much you bench, I wanna know how many reps can you do on top of a bar, man. So we are going to be looking at the two different ways of working out. There's a big war between these two ways. Usually the people from the gym don't like street workout and the people that do street workout don't really like the gym. But in this video, we are going to see which one is the best. So what you just saw was the two extremes, like the hardcore bodybuilder and the hardcore street workout guy but it doesn't have to be that way there's a middle term people are always putting these two sports in the same category and they are very similar indeed but they are also very very different in the mechanics and in the way they work so first of all let's look at the building muscle capability of each one and in here bodybuilding or the gym workout wins it wins because, well, you don't see any men's physique or bodybuilder competing on a stage and doing street workout. And that's for the reason, it's because the gym is indeed the best way to build muscle. You can overload the muscle in a different way and you can isolate the muscles so you can make them grow better, in a better shape and you can have a better physique well-rounded. When it comes to street workout, you can develop a really, really good physique, especially, and I have to give it to you guys, people from street workout, abs and back it's always amazing 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 way better than a lot of people on the bodybuilding stages so you got that but when it comes to muscles like chest legs and those muscles are really hard to overload and there's a limit to how many push-ups dips and jumps you can do it gets to a point where your body weight is just not enough to overload the muscle now, from a functional point of view, which one is more functional? In here, I'm gonna have to give it to the street workout people because the way they use their bodies, the way they engage the core while doing the movements, I think it's much more applicable to real life or to a life in the jungle or to survival or whatever than bodybuilding itself. I mean, you have to admit it. Also, street workout can be better for some joints like your spine. Uh, if you only focus on pull-ups, dips and all of that, it's totally healthy for your spine and like heavy, heavy, heavy squatting or deadlift can maybe not be that healthy but street workout is worse for joints like wrists, shoulders and so there's a little trade-off over there and you have to see which joints you have the strongest and well, which one suits you best and this brings us to another question how long can you do it and how safe is it and how many injuries will you have the, the bodybuilding people have a tendency to say that street workout oh that's too many injuries crossfit that's too many injuries and they have a little bit more injuries than bodybuilding but it's because they are more abrupt movements and people are not careful people do not warm up people don't do preventive work and they're just not as careful as they should be that's why people in crossfit and street workout get a little bit more injuries than people in the gym because the movements are a little bit more dangerous for those kind of injuries like tendons and all of that uh, if you're not careful, if you don't do enough preventive work. So it doesn't matter which one you do, you should always do preventive work. Another advantage of the street workout is that it's outside. For a lot of people, that's a big, big point because they don't want to work out in a gym. They don't want to be in between doors working out. They don't like it and I know a lot of people like that. And that's totally fine and totally understandable. So street workout can be for you. Although for some people, when it's raining, it's not for them, so that's something you have to look at. Another advantage of the street workout is that you don't have to pay a membership. You don't have to pay the gym, you just have to go to your local park and work out. And that brings us to another question. Do you have a close by park? somewhere where you can work out maybe you don't have it but you probably have a gym because gyms make money gyms are everywhere and street workout parks are not 
Now to finish this off, this is an endless debate and I know maybe some Street Talk Cut people will not like what I said, maybe some gym people will not like what I said and that's totally fine, you can totally disagree with me. But the question here is, why do you have to do just one? Why can't you do bodybuilding for 5 times a week, Street Talk Cut for one? Or Street Talk Cut for 5 times a week and bodybuilding for one? Instead of going like, oh this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, they can complement each other, make them together, use the strengths of street workout and use the strengths of bodybuilding and you'll get more strength. Maybe if you do street workout five times a week, you go to the gym one and do isolation movements. Maybe if you do bodybuilding all the time, go to the street workout park once a week and focus on different movements. I mean, it's totally, totally, totally up to you, but don't just say negative stuff about either one of them because they are both really great and as in any sport the most important key is consistency if you are consistent with what you do you will be getting results so yeah just mix them both up if you can it's way more fun like to change things up to do things that challenge you because if you're a bodybuilder you're in the gym you're pretty much doing the same movements all over again every day every year so change it up and go to a street workout park and do something totally totally different that actually challenges you and if you do street workout all the time go to a gym maybe do barbell squats maybe do different stuff that can challenge you and make you an overall better athlete so that's it for the video guys this conversation comes along because uh, this week I went to a street workout park and did a street workout workout and many of you know I'm pretty much 100% gym based so that's very different from what I'm used to and I edited out the vlog really really nice I mean it's not even a vlog the motivational edit so if you guys want to watch that and I highly recommend you to watch it because I spend a lot of time on these two minutes so make sure you watch the rest of this video for the motivational workout edit. It's really good, so hopefully you enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. Let me know what you think on the comments. Subscribe if not subscribed already. And enjoy this epic cinematic edit in 3, 2, 1. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery And you and I, we got history, yeah, yeah Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history, yeah Yeah. 